Little Cutie, a Teddy Bear's Vision Quest by Michael Lyons, the rock star cartoonist. <laughs> no. <laughs> what brings you out here, Little Cutie? Gichimanadu asked this time with regular speech. Does Aubrey know where you are? I guess you could say she's the reason I'm out here, sir. Little Cutie took a deep breath, then exhaled. Um, well, it's like this. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. There's so much I don't understand, and everything is changing too fast. He paused. His face was twitching because he was trying not to cry. I'm lost and alone. I don't know who I am or what I am. And let's face it, what kind of a silly name is Little Cutie anyway? I mean, really. Gichi Manadu set his guitar to one side, reached down and put Little Cutie on his lap. Do you know how you got that name, Little Cutie? He asked. I guess I don't remember. I've had it my whole life. I gave you that name because that's how I saw you. Little and cute. Kichimanadu said earnestly. But don't mistake what you think are shortcomings for what is your great power. What do you mean? Haven't you noticed how nobody else seems to get along? The squirrel doesn't like the eagle. The chickens can't stand the fox. The fox doesn't respect the chickens or the eagle. The skunk dislikes the bears. And everybody disrespects the skunk. Little Cutie reflected on his journey. And the one animal who was most feared in the entire woods, the one animal who nobody except you trusts, has welcomed you into their home. You want to know why? Why? Because you are little and cute. Nobody is afraid of you, so you don't have to be afraid of anybody. Only you have been able to learn from everyone else since you are so little and cute and so lovable you have become the most courageous and wise of all the animals but what about aubrey let me tell you something about that lots of people keep their favorite stuffed animals for a lifetime sure aubrey's gonna have other interests and maybe even her own adventures out in the world by herself just like you. In the distance, they could hear Aubrey calling, Little cutie, little cutie, where are you? Sooner or later, though, we all come home. Let's go, guys, Gitchi Monadu said. Then with a single strum of a magical power cord, everyone except little cutie vanished and immediately reappeared on Stephen's spaceship far out in space. Their adventure was just beginning. Oh, wow. <laughs> Back on Earth, however, and after a few minutes, Aubrey found little cutie in the clearing, sitting peacefully as he considered everything that had just happened to him. How in the world did you get way out here? I thought I lost you, she said. Without another word, the young girl scooped up the cute little bear into her arms and ran back home. As the years went by, little cutie did have many adventures out in the world without little cutie. But just as the great spirit said, she always came home eventually. The end. Oh, what? Michael Lyons, that was beautiful. Little cutie, a teddy bear's vision quest. Oh my, I thought I was going to cry. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, so there you have it, kids. This is a uh, little cutie, a teddy bear's vision quest by Michael Lyons. Thank you for listening. Be cool.
Miigwech, ga bizen da Yeah, <laughs> that's great. <laughs>